What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with one of my favorite videos that I do every single year. It is top 10 season. It is time to dive into some of the best stuff, some of the worst of WWE wrestling action figures of 2022, man. Some of my favorite videos of the year come here in December. So excited for it because we've had a lot of great figures this year, and it should be very tough to narrow down our top 10s this year, whether it's best or worst. We've got some great things going on. Now, in today's video, Video, we are covering my top 10 WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition action figures that we have gotten this year. I am very excited for this. I have done all the stats I can do. I have done all the analytics and I think I have chopped up my favorite top 10 or the best top 10 WWE Ultimate Editions of 2022. This was the most productive year we've seen of Ultimate Editions. We got a slew of them, man. When I was counting them up, I was like, holy hell. I mean, we have gotten a ton of figures this year in this Ultimate Edition line. But one thing I will have to say is I know that AJ Styles and Razor Ramon are coming very soon and we may have them in hand by the end of the year, but they are not going to hit retail until next year. And also I know, I know, I, I, I do include figures that I get from Ringside Collectibles because most hardcore collectors that are going to give a damn about this top 10, they had every opportunity to get these Ultimate Editions when they hit Ringside Collectibles because they are available. I know they aren't available at retail space, but you can still up, uh, you know, you can still track those down. Nonetheless, I was going on to say that if AJ Styles and Razor Ramon do make it in hand, I didn't have any problems making this video because that AJ Styles would be number one for me. That AJ Styles would be number one for me. I can say that from a faraway glance. That Razor Ramon would probably be somewhere in the top ten for sure, but AJ Styles would be number one. So I didn't see any issues excluding them in today's video if we were to get them in hand by the end of December. Nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. All these figures you see right here are not included in my top ten. This is sort of the 20 to 11 sort of range. And so I wanted to give some honorable mentions here to some of these. Like I said, it's been a great year. I'll just kind of rough shot through these real quick and let you know why they didn't make the top 10. So this, this Triple H over here, I didn't really like the way the torso looked. I didn't think the head sculpts were great. Even though I like the accessories and I love Triple H. Love the gear that we got here. I just could not, uh, I couldn't sleep at night if I were to include him in the top 10. There was 10 figures better than him this year. And I love this figure, but it didn't quite make the cut. Same things for Legends Macho Man. Really like that figure a lot. But I feel like his ankles, it kind of gives him like bow legs. Syndrome, and I just think that there were better figures than him this year. The re release or the second version of the Fiend figure is really good, but it's almost the same figure that we got last time. But I do appreciate the new sculpts we got with him, and I thought it was an awesome piece. I honestly think this is a super underrated Ultimate Edition. The Zeus and Rip 2 pack, the SCCC exclusives, those figures were amazing. I love the pack, I love the entire deal. They definitely deserve a shout out here in today's video. The Rip's colors is better than every version of this Hulk Hogan that we've seen. But I couldn't in good conscience give a repaint a top 10 spot here. So Rip is here. He looks glorious though. I mean, look at this figure. I mean, it's immaculate. But you know, you got to call a spade a spade. Same thing goes for the Coliseum Collection. Hulk Hogan over there. Another great figure. But I mean, initially just a kind of a re-release. Roman Reigns. Love the screaming head sculpt. But that torso on this body and the way he looks, looks aesthetically terrible. So I could not put Roman Reigns on there. Even though I love the gauntlets. I like some of the stuff we got with the Ultimate Edition. Roman, but the, the screaming head sculpt's great. I just, I cannot stand the torso on that figure. The beings is why he's wearing the shirt here. Could not, in my right mind, put him in the top 10. Ultimate Warrior, solid. Hated the head sculpts. I think they missed the mark there, but I do like all the details we got here. I love all the coloration. Just couldn't make the top 10. The Mattel crowdfunding diesel figure is amazing as well. Love the head sculpt there, but just at the end of the day, kind of plain Jane, you know, so didn't quite make the cut, but that is my honorable mentions, man. With all that being said, let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into My Damn Toy top 10 WWE Ultimate Edition action figures of 2022. Alright guys, so coming in at our number 10 spot is going to be the Coliseum Collection WWE Ultimate Edition Terry Funk figure. A figure that actually shocked me a lot. I will say that some things that held him back was just kind of the bow-legged syndrome he's got. He's kind of bow-legged a little bit, which I guess isn't the hugest deal. I really like the cloth goods you got with this figure. I don't like that the hat didn't fit the figure all the way, but this is a really great figure. I thought that the face scans and the head sculpts were really, really good. I think they capture a lot of likeness with Terry Funk. I like this line. I can't wait to see where we go with this line and it's not the most over the top exciting figure but I thought it did deserve a spot here in the top 10 so he gets the number 10 spot for me this Terry Funk's very nice and I'm glad that we are getting this thought it was awesome and I'm excited to include him here today pretty solid football figure right here 
One of, if not the most underrated figure that you will see on this list is the Ultimate Edition 13 Mr. T figure. What a beautiful piece. I love all the accessories, the Hulkamania hat, the robe, the head scans. This figure was fantastic, and I'm a big Mr. T guy. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't really align him with wrestling, but getting this figure as a guy who loves to collect action figures of, you know, other celebrities and other entertainment guys and stuff like that, this is a great piece. I like this figure a lot, posed around really well, and I love the Elite figure as well. I think the Elite made my top 10 a year or two ago as well, if I'm not mistaken, but this figure is great. I'm pretty sure you can roll into your Target and possibly get this figure at a ridiculous price of 6 to 15 bucks right now, so you may want to go check in on that. This Mr. T is great. If you guys have not grabbed it because it's Mr. T, don't let that hold you back. If you're an action figure fan, if you like action figures, this figure is fantastic. It does make the number 9 spot simply due to a few different factors, but he is a great figure, and I got to call a spade a spade. This Mr. T's great. I love this figure. It had to come in at number nine. Coming in at number eight is our crowdfunding Ultimate Edition Early Bird Macho Man action figure. I thought this one was better than the Legends figure that we got from Target with Macho Man. I love the cloth jacket. I think it looks great with a checkerboard. I know it's not completely accurate. Like, the silver is supposed to be more iridescent, but he comes with two different cloth goods. I like the tassels coming off. The black and white gear is a beautiful contrast. Black and white together really look amazing to me, and the checkerboard really stands out. I like this figure a lot. Always love Macho Man, so this is a really great iteration of Macho Man. This is my favorite Ultimate Edition that I think we've seen of Macho Man so far. I know it's not the last one. I know we're going to get plenty more, but this Macho Man's great. I had to include him here this year. I think it is the number eight best Ultimate Edition that we've seen, and I can't wait to see what the next crowdfunder is. This one, I mean, you could call this the crowdfunder saver, because without this Ultimate Macho Man right here, we would have probably never even gotten our crowdfunding project with the Doink and the Diesel and the Macho Man, so this is, uh, I guess you could call this Savior Crowdfunding Macho Man. Coming in at my number 7 spot is probably one that a lot of people probably didn't expect. It's going to be the Ultimate Edition 14 Jeff Hardy figure. Now, Jeff Hardy's one of my favorite talents of all time, and while this figure doesn't really encapture Jeff Hardy completely and perfectly, I still like this figure a whole lot. I thought that, you know, this is a better iteration of the Elite 75 Jeff Hardy we got a couple years ago. Love that they went with the 2002-2003 look. The white, pants with the, the white pants with the zebra print. I like the body paint. Head sculpt's nice. Love the neck the biggest thing about this figure that I love is the parts choices. I love that we got some brand new torso here. The new torso they put on this figure may have saved a lot of future releases such as AJ Styles that is coming later this year or possibly before the end of December on early into 2023. I think the formula is damn perfect. It's a great looking figure. And again, another figure you could probably get for like 15, 16 bucks right now at your local Target. So you may want to go get in on that. But I love Jeff Hardy. I like this figure a lot. He came in at number seven. number six spot is going to be the Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss, a really slept on figure and another figure that went to heavy, heavy clearance, man. I remember these figures being as low as six to seven bucks at Target. This is a steal of a figure. If you find it for that good of a deal, you need to take it. It feels really good in hand. I love that we got multiple iterations. You got two different. It was a two-in-one. It was basically a two-in-one figure. I love the cloth skirt dress. You get the pink shirt, the black shirt, the kind of evil-looking Alexa. You got smiley face Alexa. Very good looking head sculpts that capture her likeness a lot. Love the shoes. Even though they're a bit oversized, I still like the figure a lot. Tons of articulation. Feels fantastic in the hand. A figure, you, you guys know as well as I do, figures that feel good in the hand are going to get bumped up the list. And this figure feels immaculate in the hand. It feels immaculate in the hand. It looks really good. I love this figure. And I think that in the fact that it was going for six bucks and not a lot of people want this figure, they're idiots. But then again, I've really enjoyed a lot of the Ultimate Edition women figures, especially the Ronda Rousey and now this Alexa Bliss. Both of them could beat the hell out of each other, but I still think Ronda Rousey comes out on top. 
Now that Doink is finally here, we can finally complete the crowdfunding WWE Ultimate Edition trio of Diesel, Macho Man, and Doink. A lot of people are probably going to have this figure number one on their list, but it's not quite there for me. Still a really great figure. I love the cloth jacket, the mallet, the pissed off head sculpt you get, the kind of oopsie head sculpt you get, the smiling one that the figure's on. This is a brilliant release, and while Doink, did he deserve an Ultimate Edition? I don't freaking know, but guess what? It's a damn good figure. It's it's a very sweet release. It looks fantastic. If you guys do not own this one, I just, I, I feel bad for you, to be honest with you, because this is a great one. And again, I cannot, I cannot reiterate again how much I'm looking forward to the next crowdfunder. I hope that my sights aren't too, you know, they're not too high. I hope that I'm not too, too high on it and looking forward to it or putting too much anticipation or too much dependability on it, because I don't want to be massively let down. I'm just going in with just excitement to see what it is and I'm not expecting any releases from any sort of era, but this figure is fantastic. I just don't have it as number one just because I don't, I feel like without the jacket, it's kind of frumpy. And I know he was frumpy, but it just, I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't quite, it doesn't reach a level of awesomeness that it's going to take to get to the number one spot, but he does deserve to be in the top five. If you were to shrink down a version of Hulk Hogan from 1984 and put him in plastic form, this is exactly what it would look like. My God. They knocked this one out of the park and again, heard it many times on the channel if you guys were unaware. I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan guy. I respect his legacy. I look back on wrestling with him and the way that he brought wrestling up and all of that stuff. I look upon all of that fondly. I think that he has his place in wrestling. This is a almost perfect figure. I almost would say that it is perfect and that that's kind of ridiculous to say but these head sculpts that came with this figure are immaculate and another figure that was blessed by the covid overproduction sort of target crazy clearance deals you can get this figure for super cheap right now too and it is a crime that you can get this figure for such a good price but we get to rip all the benefits this figure is simply incredible from the top of the head to the soles of its feet a fantastic piece and if a lot of people have this at number one i I wouldn't even doubt it. I wouldn't dock you one bit, but there were three figures that I liked a little bit more. And again, this is my top 10. So, you know, the, the what I say goes. So, you know, make your own football YouTube channel. I don't know. But this figure is fantastic. I had to rank this guy in the top five. It's a, if you don't have this figure in your top five, you're just, you're just simply a hater. Based on action figure quality alone, this one must be in the top five. Coming in at number three in a figure I honestly forgot was released this year. Or was it released this year? If not, I totally apologize. But I want to say that this figure did release in 2022. WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Amazon Exclusive Shawn Michaels. What a... Almost said the F word. So damn good. Love the colors. One of my favorite Shawn Michaels action figures they've ever made. Love the yelling head sculpt. You know, it wasn't perfect. I love that they actually beefed up the torso for this figure. Great gear. White kick pads. I love the entrance gear the hat braid is tucked in there so i do apologize for that but i'm not gonna touch it now but holy crap i loved this figure when i got it it can pose around with the best of them as well i love just giving sweet chin musics to my entire collection with this figure as a big sean guy i i really do love this figure and i think it just captures him great the colors are really what pop for me and you guys know i'm a huge zebra print idiot so that that works wonders for me as well the heartbreak kid broke my and shattered my heart today with this release release or this year with this release i guess but again i it may have been in 20 late 2021 but i want to say it was 2022 if i'm not mistaken and maybe my my order came in late i don't know if that's the case i do apologize but damn what a good figure it still deserves this spot i think Coming in at number two, is it any surprise? We have the Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition Batista figure. I own this figure too many copies. I don't even want to say how many I own, all right? Why? Don't ask me, Brad. All right? Who knows? Mental illness? This figure's great, man. Love the head sculpts. I mean, this figure captures beautifully of Batista as a big Batista guy growing up. One of my favorite feuds and eras and moments in wrestling. Absolutely fantastic. 
Love the gear. The white gear is great. Head sculpts are phenomenally perfect. This one had to come in in my number two spot, and it would have held the number one spot if it weren't for one figure in particular, but this one is grand. This one is terrific. All the different adjectives you can add up. Love all the accessories we got. The animal shirt was great as well. I think, looking back on it, I think it could be a little bit better, but still, at the end of the day, this, this figure holds a prominent spot in the collection. Cannot wait to see more Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition figures to come, and hopefully that does take place, but this Batiste is fantastic, man. I couldn't say another word about it. It is my number two Ultimate Edition of 2022. And coming in at number one is the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. This figure is simply incredible. A perfect figure from head to toe. The body mold looks incredible. I love the seamlessness from the tattoo. The torso matches Brock perfectly. The double jointed arms, the butterfly joints, the expressions with the, the man bun style head sculpt. I mean, this is perfect. This is immaculate. If you guys don't own this figure definitely go grab it i mean you talk about a figure that feels fantastic in the hand the quality of the damn plastic feels better than all the rest it's insane how good this figure is it is available on ringside right now go grab it code md toys i believe it's gonna be hitting retail relatively soon and anytime i see this figure i'm buying it i think it is so damn good it is just unbelievably good if you hold this figure in your hand you will know how good it is it blows its old one out of the water which was always one of my favorite ultimate editions. I talked about it constantly. This one's up there with it and it crushes it. It also has the drop down ball joint hip legs which are fantastic. I mean God in heaven when you talk about a beast of a figure not only is he not only a living being beast his action figure replicates that perfectly and that is why this Brock Lesnar is number one. I couldn't put any other figure here. Fantastic year of ultimate editions. This one is above the rest and had it not been for this figure releasing Batista would probably be sitting here at number one but I could not in good conscience just put him above this Brock. This Brock is one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever done. That's how damn good it is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to that. However, that wraps up my top 10 Ultimate Edition action figures of 2022. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know down below what your top 5, top 10, maybe what your favorite Ultimate Edition was from this year. An uh, incredible year of Ultimate Edition action figures. Can't wait to do the list again next year. I'm going to be honest with you, starting the year off, it's going to take a lot to beat that AJ Styles. I mean, they're going to have to come with some real effing heat. I know we got some ones already announced. Razor Ramon will be good. We already have Seth Rollins coming, Andre the Giant. But I don't know, man. Some other Ultimate Edition is going to have to bring the smoke to knock that AJ Styles off. But I love this Brock. I love the Ultimate Edition line. I love Mattel and action figures, man. We have plenty of top 10s, top 5s, top things coming to the channel for the end of the year. We're going to do AEW. We're going to do WWE Elites. We're going to do the worst figures. We're going to do lots of stuff here, man. But if you have a top 10 you'd like to see, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. Cross the line.